Hey everybody, it's James. How you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Patreon poll pick, and the poll was 90s movie, and the winner was Kindergarten Cop. So, what do I know about Kindergarten Cop? Not a lot. I know it has to do with kindergarten. Don't know about the cop part. Maybe some like kindergartner is like really crazy about his home monitor duties. And he's like the cop, the kindergarten cop. I don't know. Oh, it could be like a cop that works at the kindergarten at the school. Because we have those at, like, high schools. I didn't know they had those at elementary schools, but maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> the uh, Don't forget, I have a second channel now called Awesome Shows. And uh, if you're on YouTube, I have a link below, but you can just search for the word Awesome Shows on YouTube. It's one word, and you go straight to my channel there. Um, I'm watching Breaking Bad over there. I'm watching The Good Place over there. I watch uh, True Detective over there. Uh, there's lots and lots and lots to come. If you do enjoy some of the shows, uh, you should check out my Patreon because I have a ton of exclusive shows over on Patreon that uh, I've watched some of the entire series. Like Breaking Bad, I've seen all of it. Good Place, I've seen all of it. The entire first season of True Detective. You know, there's a whole bunch. I've already watched, and they're all available over on Patreon. So go check that out. If you don't know who I am, uh, my name is James. I'm an ex-farmer who grew up in the middle of nowhere. And only had three channels on my TV, so we just didn't watch it. I became a massive bookworm. Still am so many years later. And my oldest children convinced me to start this channel and start watching all these awesome U.S. movies. So, yeah. Other than that, uh, let's watch Kindergarten Cop. Man, I am not prepared for this. I don't have water, I don't have tea, I don't have coffee, I got nothing. Just me and you. Ooh, Arnold Schwarzenegger! I've seen him in like three or four movies now. Terminator 1 and 2, Predator, True Lies, and I think he was in... Dave? I think... Very creepy movie. I mean, music for a kindergarten. Movie. Boy, Arnold's man, does he look just mean? In a, in a couple of million dollars, then we're not gonna get thousands. Look, shut up and stay out of sight, okay? I told him I was coming alone. What is going on? A couple of million dollars, and we're putting gloves on? Never good. I don't think Arnold would be a very quiet person he's not like a ninja his footsteps would be quite loud you said you had information about my family let's have it well it's gonna it's gonna cost you like a thousand dollars like 750 would be fine you start with 1500 you work your way down come on and i ran into your ex how'd she look she looked like a million dollars so obviously this is a bad guy looking for his ex-wife my boy you look great you look very healthy where are they? Astoria Elementary School. Oh. You're an idiot. You should have gotten your money up front. And you're dead. You not? Saw that coming. I, I didn't kill him. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, guys. there you go. That'll keep them together. <laughs> That'll keep them together. I have some great, exciting, wonderful news, Mother. I just found out where they're hiding. Are you serious? Just let me handle this myself, Mother. I know what I'm doing. Does Mom know what he's doing? Crisp, you're under arrest. Drop the gun! I'm a police officer. This is an arrest. Freeze! Oh, jeez. Jeez, oh my gosh. I'm a idiot. I'm Detective John Kimball. You can't just walk in here and put a gun in my face. I'm trying to get a manicure. Oh, yeah, because that justifies it. I'm not doing any lineup. That's what I say. I'm going to... Kimball, down. sit down. Hey, sit down. Sit. Sit. <laughs> They're both doing the same riot act. All you have to do is point your finger and we can put his ass away for 30 years. I know you're in there. No lineup, no testimony. So you can take your handcuffs and shove them up your ass. 
Well, that didn't work out. Oh, hi. Let me take care of Cindy. She'll make Chris pick her indeed. Well, what are you going to do? Handcuff her to the bumper of your car and take her for a ride? Let's just say I'm not going to offer to cook her dinner. Kimball, hold on a second. I'm... Oh, I guess I didn't. I, I thought these two were partners already. The guy's going to get away. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, smack that guy around. There we go. <laughs> my name is John Kimball, and I love my car. Yo, man, I'm just gonna keep an eye on it for you, all right? So yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, I got a bigger gun than you do. Oh, jeez. <laughs> my place. So nice to see you again. Why are you staring at me like that? I like you, Cindy. I'm gonna be around you a lot. Days, nights. Oh, goodness. All right, moving in. Yeah, uh-huh. I'll pinpoint him. He's number five. Number five. It's him. Mr. Crisp, you will be remanded into custody until your trial. It's murder. First degree murder. You know what to do. I'm your mother. You know what to do. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. You think the jury is going to convict me on the testimony of that junkie? You're right. But what about your wife? What did hard earned drug money she stole from you? Oh. I bet she would make a much better witness. Kimball, you've wasted years chasing after me. I'll be out of here in a week, and you'll still be eating takeout food in that dump you live in. Without me, you wouldn't even have a life. Never seen oh, anyone yeah. so little eat so much. Yeah, I know. I'm hypoglycemic. Isn't that the same thing um, Paul Blart had? You two are booked on the first flight out to Portland tomorrow morning. Now, I want you to locate Crisp's wife and offer her immunity in exchange for a testimony against him. And I work alone. <laughs> he works alone. Not anymore. She's ah. going in undercover as a substitute <laughs> kindergarten Not Oh! Exactly for you. She's going to be the kindergarten cop. I'm Kimball. The name's O'Hara. Gotcha. Her ambition was to travel, experience life, and meet interesting people. I'm a crisp. Yeah. Did the kid just do that? Relax. Hey. <laughs> Not very friendly with kids. Maybe we should take a wild stab at getting to know each other before we have to pretend we're man and wife. They're gonna be man and wife? Hold to each other. Hey, give me that. Please. Oh my god, he's gonna oh, freak out. out. You don't stop screwing around back there. This is what I'm gonna do with you. <laughs> I gotta get out of here right now. I gotta go and move my boat. Oh. Is your wife okay, sir? Compared to what? Compared to what? Jeez, he's friendly. You were a governor, for God's sakes. Where's that smile? <sighs> Food poisoning? Oh. oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Not a hubcap. <laughs> it's not gonna start to this operation, whatever it is. No, not again. I think she has to go to a doctor. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude! You gotta take her to the ER. I'll be fine. Class starts at nine o'clock in the morning. I have a son. Oh. He lives with his mother and stepfather. What the hell? Why is there a ferret? This is my ferret. They're friendly, but I don't know how he got that on the plane. I'm still on. Oh my God. <laughs> he's, he's just it's a brute. Space. I don't think she's going to make it to kindergarten at 9 a.m. I'll be ready in just a minute. How do I look? Take off the gun. Is he going to be the teacher? The six year olds. How much trouble can they be? Oh, buddy. Take the gun. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're in for. He's so big, though. I know she poisoned your hamsters. She poisoned them? Mr. Kimball, Miss Schlauske will see you now. She's cute. Can I help you? I'm John Kimball, your new kindergarten teacher. Uh-huh. I assume you have some teaching experience. No. Nope. wouldn't have sent me otherwise. Oh, my God. Look at... She's not even to his shoulder. You're in trouble, Arnold. 
Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Miss Schlowski. Hagley had to go on an important trip. Did she die? No. <laughs> he tried now, breathing treatment. Hagley, this is Mr. Kimball, your new kindergarten teacher. Smile. Come on, Arnold. He's so big. Good morning, Mr. Kimball. Good morning. Good luck. First, I would like to just get to know you. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Quiet. They're kindergartens. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. How many of you were born in Astoria? They don't know. All of them? They don't know. Boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina. <laughs> oh. Yeah. True. I need to go to the bathroom and I can't get these things off. I get someone to help you. I'll be right back. What? You can't undo those? You've learned that the E is often silent. I need to go real bad. I'll take care of her. Thank you. You know, kindergarten is like the ocean. You don't want to turn your back on it. Don't worry. Everything is under control. It's not under control? No. <laughs> Monsters. You're in trouble, yeah, buddy. <laughs> is that the principal? Two more days of this. And you'll quit. Jeez. No. Don't oh, start this. You upset them. <laughs> oh, no. You're leaving? <laughs> Just a reminder that I'm offering a seven-day free trial to new Patreons. That is where you can find all my full reactions and this exclusive content. How long did he last? 20 minutes? Attention! This is your new class mascot. Oh, we've got his ferret. If he bites you, you get rabies and you die. No, it is not true. But one at a time, okay? Yes. Very soft. Good. Good. Now we're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to love this. He's getting tormented on a daily basis. All the place is destroyed. What's that supposed to mean? This is Hagley's a lot better than you. <laughs> Do you happen to know someone that is not better than me? I don't know that many people. <laughs> How'd it go? Go away. It went that well, huh? What is wrong with her? Did she go to the doctor? There he is. Where, honey? Holy cow, is that your new teacher? Uh-huh. What are you doing? I don't want him to see me without my makeup. Oh! <laughs> Hi, I'm Julian, Sylvester's mom. I've just been worried about Sylvester. He's been acting a little strange lately. A little obsessed with playing with dolls. He uses the dolls to look up girls' skirts. I caught him doing it yesterday. <laughs> Does Sylvester ever see his father? His father lives in California. Right, it's far away. Mm-hmm. Oh, is this the woman he's looking for? But his father left us for another man. Yeah. Are you a no, I'm not. He's not married, Mom! Oh, goodness. The moms are after him. The United, the United States, States of America. America. One nation under, under God. Are these all your lunches? Did you... Did he eat all the lunches? Stop it! Oh. oh. He just dropped him on the floor. Oh, I have a headache. It might be a tumor. Of course it's not a tumor. Who is your daddy and what does he do? My dad repairs red cars driven by women who have pinheads. Oh, sure. My dad doesn't live with us anymore. <laughs> he lives in New York and drives a taxi. Okay. My mom hopes he's going to die real soon. Oh, jeez. My dad, he has a mustache and a beard. Oh, good. His head is so big that he can't wear any hats. Oh. <laughs> He's a psychologist and he helps people lost their feelings and um. They lost their feelings. Our mom says that our dad is a real sex machine. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a long time. What's his name with his back to me? He doesn't like anyone to talk to him. He's a boo-boo head. 
Yeah, he... No, that's not nice. That's not nice. That's enough. Did your daddy teach you this game? Leave me alone! It's a fire alarm! Yay! Oh, we're just running out like crazy. Come on, get all together. <laughs> Everything together. <laughs> Four minutes, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm very disappointed. Oh, man, she's a tough principal. He's exhausted by the end of the day. Little Zach, go check on Zach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mrs. Sullivan. Oh. Wow. So the doctor says it's a stomach flu. I'm fine. Okay. At least she went to the doctor. So far, I have three possible suspects. His name is Zach Sullivan. What do you think? Maybe. Come on, John. I'm hungry. So well, she can eat at least. So oh, this Mr. is the other teacher. Kimble, Mr. Kimble. Joyce. Hello, Joyce. I am his sister. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, would you like to join us for dinner? Yes, of course. Oh, that would good. be great. <laughs> Relax, Butch. The love doctor is here. Oh, the love doctor is here. <laughs> They're not the tiny bitsy ones without meat on them, are they? Actually, it's quite a large serving. Ah, good. Ooh. She's laying it on thick. I like how they talk. <laughs> <laughs> what made you become a kindergarten teacher? My mother was a teacher. We followed the footsteps of our parents. And I coached basketball at the old girls' school in Rhode Island. None of it made me really happy. Did he really? Why weren't you happy? I got tired of teaching teenagers. I realized that the real action is in kindergarten. Yeah, I like this story. Oh, it's fun. Thank it's you nice very to much. You. Thank you. Bye. Ooh, is that a tracker? What is she got? Is that a Jeep? What is it? I think you scored. The only reason why I'm interested in this woman is because she works at the school. She knows the children and the parents. Kimball, if you were any stiffer, we could take you surfing. <laughs> Look, you're going to be out of here in a few days. You're going to be okay. back to dealing with junkies and murderers in no time. I'd rather play with the kids. But I bet they're exhausted by the end of the day. Those kids, they have all the energy in the world. You got to handle this like any other police situation. And those kids know you're scared. Oh, -ho. today we're going to play a new fun game. It's called Police School. Oh, goodness. come on. Your kids are soft. Well, I've got news for you. You are mine now. You belong to me. It's time now to turn this mush into muscles. Mush into muscles. There is no bathroom. You're too strict now. Each one of you get one toy. Go, quickie. go, 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 go. Bring the toy back to the carpet. The Isn't carpet. it all carpet? <laughs> quickie. Take your toy back to the carpet. I'm not a policeman. I'm a princess. Take it I'm a back. princess. Oh. All right. <laughs> I'm a, not a policeman. I'm a princess. When you heard two whistle blows, take your toy back to where you got it from and come right back to the carpet. How many whistle blows? Two. <laughs> Go. Okay, we're getting a little bit of order here. It works. This is great. You're very good deputies. Yeah, good job. <laughs> oh, we're running the military now. They're too little for tires. Ah, there was four or five kids on there compared to him. Oh, is the principal going to be happy? Uh, don't forget Garrett. Oh, yes, yes, yay! Yes, Zach is the winner. Give him a hand. Zach won! Yay! Does she approve of this or no? Wow. He's right, getting better. Time, when we were what? I used to read this to my son. Oh. Where is he? He lives with his mother. His mother and I, we are... Divorced, I know. His mommy and I, we just met. What's he gonna say? Just sit down, okay? He doesn't want to tell his story. Where am I going? I don't quite know. Down to the wood where the bluebells grow. I bet a lot of people would love this job. But it's a tough job. Don't think otherwise. Teachers have tough jobs. And I'm so thankful that there's people out there that love doing it. Oh! He must be daydreaming. 
Yeah, he's dreaming. I was wondering, he'd like to come to my place for dinner tomorrow night. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah, thanks. How about 6.37? Is she and her son, like, the actual people he's supposed to be finding? Oh, gun. Freeze! Oh! Henry Shoup, my fiance. Oh, oh, God! Hi. I can't oh, jeez. Yeah, no, go to the bathroom and put some clothes on. I, I would not shake his hand after finding him and whatever he was doing with that hand. Excuse me, I'm John Kim from I'm Sachs, teacher. I've been leaving messages on your machine. I'm sorry, things have been kind of hectic. What's going on? I know what this is about. I suppose you saw the bruises on Zach's legs. Oh, no. My husband has started counseling about this. Please don't bring the school system into it. It'll only make matters worse. He's beating you too? Oh, goodness. You won't say anything, will you? If he does it again, I press charges. Yeah. Okay, so it's not them. Oh my gosh, where are we now? Oh no, we're back in. Okay, I was like, "Wow, <laughs> this small town's got some stuff." Thanks, man. Who are you, old lady? Fairy godmother. Whoa! He tracked down her dealer, and she's poisoning her to kill her off. I got a bottle of wine for your big date, and flowers as well. Here you go. Oh, <clears throat> flowers as well. This is a pretty little town. Let's look it up afterwards. You can get on Google Maps and you can take your little guy in the corner and you can pop him down in different cities and actually like walk around the city. Wow, this it's is really cool. A place. After the divorce, he said Dominic and I could stay here in exchange for keeping the place up. Um, dinner won't be ready for a few minutes. Yeah, I'll show you where the wood is. All right. Who was the name of her husband? Did she say Dominic? In here. What's this? Don't touch that. It's a laser and I'll burn a hole right through you. Okay. I put up these lasers to protect us. From who? The bad people. You want to see something else? Yeah, this is the kid. See that? I'm going to plant one of my lasers on that antenna. But I'll have to do it at night. Otherwise, the bad people will know where it is. We're going to do some snooping, I bet. Ooh, Ghostbuster sheets. <laughs> going through her drawers? A little panty raid? Well... <laughs> having dinner? When I was putting Dominic to bed, he mentioned you well, had a Dominic's son, too. Dominic's a kid. And what about your ex-husband? Does he see Dominic often? Uh, no. After the divorce, he moved back to France. The alimony. I was so glad to see him go. I didn't worry about that part. Uh-huh. Dominic doesn't even remember him. I prefer it that way. Dominic was talking to me about he had to leave in the middle of the night and leave his toys behind. I thought he'd forgotten about that. Well, this is for sure them. Truth is, my ex-husband is a walking nightmare. Found out where we were, and he tried to kidnap Dominic. So where's this money? A couple million dollars or whatever. You have to promise me you won't tell anyone. You can trust me. Let's try it again. Four scores and seven years ago! Score. Four scores. Choice of story about the house checked out. It's got under $1,000 in the wow. bank. No safe deposit box. Keep looking. Check for offshore accounts. On Dominic's name, she she doesn't money live deposit. like a woman with millions of dollars. This might not be her. It's got to be her. I think you want it to be her. Oh, maybe. Lady surprise. What? I bought these little things to donate for the raffle prizes. Well, she's the one I was telling you about. Her husband ran away with another guy. It's been terrible for her. You're not getting mellow on me, are you? <laughs> We're going to talk about last night. Last night. Yeah. I've been thinking about it. I'm glad I told you all those things. Is everything okay? Yeah. Mm hmm Just like watching you walk away, ma'am. <laughs> Just talking to the teacher. That's all. I mean... Uh-huh. Sure you were. Sorry, Zach. It's late. Car wouldn't start. Hi, Chan. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, is this the dad? To you. you hit the kid, I hit you. Oh! Everybody's watching. I'm pressing charges against you. I'm sorry. Uh oh. I shouldn't have hit the man. I checked you out. 
There is oh, yeah? no record of you ever having taught at any public school in California or anywhere else. Someone finally noticed. <laughs> I thought the use of your police whistle was outrageous, but... It's all I could think of. Please allow me to finish. Yeah, she's trying to compliment you. Shut up. You're a very good teacher. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. What did it feel like? To hit that son of a bitch. <laughs> Love her. That felt great. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, sure. she's dead. And there goes our goddamn kiss. The crisp is gonna walk. He's out. We're gonna be a family again, son. Oh goodness, they're both nuts. Astoria. Hey, wait. Is this the same place as Goonies? And those rocks in the background look familiar. Didn't just carry her. Oh, no. Nope. They did. Oh, no. Nope. They didn't make it. Conceived in liberty. That's right. Conceived in liberty. People. By the people. And for the people. And for the people. Thank you very much. Oh, he's the cutie pie. <laughs> Yay! He's proven to be a wonderful asset. Mr. John Kimball. Yay! Town. Mm. Is he there? Oregon license plate. Oh, yeah, cool. Pretty much out of the race cars, unless, yeah. I have a better idea. I'll pay you twice what he's charging. My kid's been bugging me for one of these ever since Christmas. Oh, I please. tried. Yeah. No harm in trying. But we've run out of time. We got to press Joyce, and we got to press her now. Cindy OD'd last night. Yeah. If Joyce is Crisp's wife, she's got to cooperate and tell us about the money or she gets no police protection. Nice, huh? Uh-huh. How are you? What? Her name is Nadir Sada. Oh, coming out. You're police officers. Listen, okay. Crisp knows where you are. He could be here any minute. Where's Dominic? He's in a pony. He's fine. The only way we can offer you protection is if you tell us where the money there is. There is no money, you son of a bitch! Oh, God! Please let me help you. That's not working out. Yeah, it's a tracker. I thought it was a Geo. She's gonna run again. Unless we do something about it. Hey, what are you gonna do? snap out of it. Oh, he's Girl. not gonna hurt this guy. Girl. What an ass. Children's aspirin. Uh boy's not sick. Doesn't hurt to take precautions. He stuffed all this crap down my throat for years. And oh, why there was nothing wrong with you. How can you argue with that? These two have an interesting relationship. Joyce! They're gone already. Joyce, uh -oh. Dominic! Did they did the husband already find the place? Go with me! We'll find him. He said something about going to get his lasers. Oh, he's at the tower. Yeah. That's scary. <laughs> oh! Oh jeez. Oh, good, be careful. Yeah. He's got yeah. him. I'm going to put the lasers in the antenna. He's okay. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> you can trust me. Oh, yeah, that's what you said before. Then you turned out to be a cop. What's wrong with the cop? I wish I was a kindergarten teacher. I have to get out of here. I have a son I've hardly seen in the last seven years. My ex-wife got remarried. She doesn't want me to be part of his life. Yeah, that can happen. Why are you telling me all of this? I don't want to lose you. Oh, he does have very... He's interested in her. I swear, you will never have to run from him again. Ooh, make-out session? Is that going to convince her to stay? Don't worry. Ooh. Boys have a penis, girls oh, have goodness. a vagina. <laughs> This is the starting conversation for that kid. You taught them the basics. Today, we're going to talk about strangers. Stranger danger. We never talk to strangers. Right. Here's what you've been waiting for, the kindergarten. He's going to... He's going to see Arnold. 
Yeah, huh? That cigar out. It's unhealthy for the kid. We're going in there with a gun? No! He's gonna burn the place down? Yeah, that's a real fire. Okay, this is a fire drill. Come on. Just the way yep. we practiced it. Everybody out. Go, go, go. What's he doing? Let's get them there. Put that sucker out. Just grab and go. Oh, there he got him. Stranger! <laughs> he doesn't have a gun. Oh, yeah, he does have a gun. Okay. Uh-huh. She's going in after him. Oh, man, he's an open target. I'm a fireman. I help people. You're not fireman. Your hat. Yeah, and your outfit, you jerk. I'm your father, Dominic. Don't you recognize me? No, of course he doesn't. Oh, oh Jesus, she hit her with a car. No! Rachel! Come and let him go. Let him go! You're scaring him! Scared. Well, you're taking him. You're kidnapping him. I'm Oh my god! Everything's gonna be okay, Dominic. Dominic? Don't shoot him in front of the kid. Kill him! No! Hold it! What are you doing? I'm putting it down. Hurry! Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, ah! Oh, bit him! There we go. Oh god. Okay. Got him. You piss the ferret off. That's what you get. You get shot. Oh, he got him. He shot him! Yeah, your boy dead, lady. Oh, he's right there. Where's my grandson? Oh! Oh! There you go! Good for you! You're not so tough without your car, are ya? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It's your mom, you mom, right? Oh, the kids have to see their teachers hurt. Oh, he's got a yeah, shot in the leg. Thanks, partner. Yeah. Listen, I brought some for you. Did I do that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, you look pretty good yourself. Ah! No, God. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. He's clumsy. You're coming to the wedding, right? Is it safe? Is it safe? I wouldn't miss this for the world. Where do we send the invitation? Yeah. What are we doing? Are we coming back? Oh, got his whistle. Mr. Kimball! I'm back. Yeah! Oh, yeah, they, uh, they want to watch. Is he there to stay? Uh-oh, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. Oh, uh, they're going to kiss. Even on one leg, he can just pick her right up. Yay! Let's talk about it. That was Kindergarten Cop, and it was the Patreon poll pick for 90s movie. And how fun was this? I did not get my guess on what this was right at all. <laughs> I got the kindergarten part right. But that was a giveaway, right? <laughs> but... This was so fun, sticking Arnold in this comedic role, which I've never seen him in a comedic role. I mean, I guess it was kind of comedic and true lies, but it was like Tom Arnold was the comedy, not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, So this is the very first comedic role, and I don't know if that's a thing with him. He's always like the blow stuff up and beat people up guy, not the make laughs but i loved him in this it was fun i love the kids especially the kids were great yeah kids uh if you want to be humbled go talk to kids they'll tell you the truth about everything if you're fat if you're ugly if you got big ears big nose they'll tell you all about it <laughs> they'll tell you all about it 
I love the honesty of children. I really do. And I love kids. Could I be a kindergarten kid a teacher? No, absolutely not. They would drive me insane. <laughs> That's too much. I can't handle that. Maybe I could handle it for like a day, but as my main job, no. They'd wear me out so quick. <laughs> but on a side note, thank you so much to all of our teachers out there, public and private, wherever you are in this wonderful world that we live in. You really do help us become the adults that we are. I have a couple of teachers that were near and dear to me in my heart. Um, and I'm so thankful that they were part of my life. And I'm sure if you're a teacher out there, there's a few kids out there that say you are close to their heart because of what you provided to them as they were going through school. So thank you so much to all of our teachers. You are truly not appreciated for what you do. Um, and I and I want to make sure you understand that I and so many like me are appreciative for what you do for this world. So thank you so much to all of you. Um, and also thank you all to you for, you know, liking and subscribing. If you're not subscribed, why not? Come on. Look what I go through watching hilarious movies for you. <laughs> That's worth a subscribe. Anyways, thanks to my Patreons for this wonderful pick, and thank you all you again. But other than that, thanks for watching, and never forget that you are awesome. Goodbye.